Praise the Lord. Greetings in the matchless name of the Lord Savior Jesus Christ. My name is Adam Joseph Thomas. First and foremost, I would like to thank the Lord and especially the Hello Hope team for enabling me to be a part of today's session. And most importantly, I thank the Lord for keeping us safe in the last past two months, especially in this period of lockdown. And I know there would be a miracle ahead, and I know that God Almighty would do something great, and we all hope and believe in doing something, that God will do something. And I would like to start this very short thought that I had in my head for the past few days. And for that, I would like to read the Gospel of John, chapter 11, verses 9. It goes like this. If anyone walks in the day, and he does not stumble, because he sees the light of this world. And once again, I would like to read Gospel of John, chapter 12, verse 35. That is, Jesus said to them, a little while longer, the light is with you. Walk while you have the light, lest that the darkness will overtake you. He who walks in darkness does not know where he is going. See, we have just now read two verses. There is something that we see in common. Here we see the light. Here the light, what does that refer to? Again, in John chapter 9, it clearly depicts that Jesus Christ is a light. So in other words, what is God, God himself trying to tell us? It says that, God says, if you walk in me, if you follow my path, you're walking in light. And if you're walking in light, you will not fall. But if you walk in darkness, you will fall. That's exactly what God wants to tell us in this. And in this Zidaw lines, what do we see God as? In the statement, everyone has a different depiction of how God is. We all have our own thoughts, our own imaginations of what God is, and what God is like. But when you read the chapter of Revelation, the book of Revelation, it gives a very clear and a beautiful description of how this almighty being says. It says about a holy being said about sitting in a mighty throne with thunders and clouds all around him with angels and many other creatures surrounding him day and night, 24-7, all saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. And this, my dear people, this is the God that we serve. He himself came down and he wrote in this book and it, and it said, Follow me, because I am the light. If you don't want to fall, you have to follow me because when you follow the darkness, you will fall. We all know what is going happening, what is going on around this world. A lot of traumas, a lot of situation, crisis around this world. The world is taking a quick shift and turn, right and left, day and night. A lot of shocking news, day and night. We do not know whether we can go back to our own schools or our own jobs or whether we can get our education back. We do not know whether we can go back to our colleges back. We do not know what tomorrow holds. We do not know what faces we can see tomorrow. And in between of this, and in this, in midst of this, what we need the most is the protection of God. And this almighty being, this almighty higher being God says, follow me. My dear child, God says, my dear child, you cannot follow your own ways because you will fall. Only if you come behind me, only if you know my paths, only if you take my own turns, you can rise because we need God's protection in this time. And again, when we read Isaiah chapter 55, verse 8 and 9, it says like this, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are my ways your ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Here God gives a beautiful description of how this works. The sun, which is the nearest star to the earth, about 150 million kilometers from the earth. We do not know how far is the heaven is. We do not know where heaven is located, but I know one thing. Heaven is really, really far. That's why God really says in these lines, 
My ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts are higher than your thoughts, for as the heavens are higher than the earth. I mean, that's how far God thinks about you. God knows you, your weakest points. God's thoughts about you are higher than what you think about yourselves. He knows your weakest points. And that's exactly why he said, Man, child, follow my paths. Follow my ways. Because if you follow on your own paths, your own deeds, you will fall. Fall into the pit of darkness. And my dear friends, I want you to remember this one thing. That our Bible, this Bible, is a living word of God. And it has power and authority in it. I want you to remember that because it says, it said in the Bible that, Is the hand of the Lord too short to help? Or his ears too dull to hear? You want, I want you to realize that our Father in heaven sent his own son so he can die for you. So he can give you a new life. So he, so you can choose his paths and his ways and follow his light. And so that you can walk accordingly to in his own ways and not for your own deeds and not for your own paths. Because God ex knows exactly as you will fall. God knows exactly that you cannot do it on your own. So he wants us to live accordingly like him and follow his own paths. And especially in this time where we need his protection the most, where we need his guidance, that we do not know what anything holds. We do not know where anything can hold up still. And this is the moment, this very moment is what we need from God. That is his protection, only his protection. And I want you to remember this one thing, my friends. And this great, big, almighty God with so much power, with angels around him, millions and millions of living creatures around him. And he comes and says in Isaiah 55, he says, Come, I will give you bread with no cost, and I will fill your hunger. Come, I will give you water and wine and milk to quench your thirst with no cost. And this is the God that we serve. And this great big God, who is holy and just, full of, filled with righteousness. And it said in the Bible that he, expect, he expects his own people to be holy and righteous, the way he is holy and righteous. And we know one day when he comes on the midair to call his own people, and all those who couldn't make it on that day would be doomed on this earth. And on that day, who lives holy, who lives with the righteous paths will be taken and all those who wouldn't would be, would be accountable. So my dear friends, follow his ways, follow his path. This is the end times, we all know it. We do not know what tomorrow holds. We do not know what we can see, if, even if anything is going to happen. All we know is we can pray and ask God for his protection. And this, my friends, is the hope that you find in Christ. The very hope that you wouldn't find anywhere. We're all in our homes, in prayers, waiting for an answer, waiting for a miraculous sign. And this is the hope that Christ gives. All we have to do is turn to Him. It says in our Bible, cleanse your hands, because we're sinners. Turn to Him and follow His paths, because He's always waiting for us. And we need His protection, day and night, and all glory unto Him. And I would like to end this message by giving a very short prayer. Father God, I thank you Lord for all the things you've been doing Jesus. God, we give this session into your hands, O oh Lord Jesus. God, we do not know what tomorrow holds Jesus. God, you are an almighty being and let us trust in you day and night Jesus. God, whether this is the end or not, we do not know how many faces we're going to see tomorrow or today Jesus. But we know one thing that we can put our trust and our hope in you alone, Jesus. God, we need your protection. And we thank you for whatever you're doing, Jesus. Lord, we come into our life, Jesus, and take us as well, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we ask and pray. Amen.